Something I want to talk about that gives me questions. I was watching a Live Each Day video, you know, from Corey, S&P Films, Mr. Safety, and was, he said that he opened a pet, or he had, on Black Friday, which was last year, got a DVD of Rio 2, and it was SRAM wrapped, so, you know, people can't steal the DVDs, but somehow, some jerk found a way to scratch up the DVD case and somehow wedge it, break the case, and wedge the DVD somehow through the cracks. Pretty genius if you ask me. But anyways, they, f they found out that the DVD, they took out the DVD or whatever and basically stole it which is not nice at all because then you ruin it for the other person that actually bought the DVD basically Koi bought it for them because he bought the cover thinking it was in good shape that's why you always investigate your covers before you buy them second of all even if they're in wraps what I like to do is I like to go out to my car open each DVD up first make sure all the DVDs are in there before I go home if the DVD is not in there, I go back, I show them the ticket and say, I just bought this. I went to my car, opened it up, no DVD. Can I go and get another DVD to switch it with this one? Then I will ask them, can I open this right in front of you so you can see that there is or isn't a DVD in this one too? We open it up, we see DVD, I say thank you, and I leave. Um, and it's of this, and, and sometimes what I don't understand is at Walmart, and even Target, sometimes some of them have a slip cover and some of them times they don't. Don't understand that. On the same movie, on the same movie, like let's say I want to buy Grease. One Grease movie has a DVD, uh, case, and the other one does it. Then... Let's say I want to buy a movie called Pinocchio. One has saran wrap around it. The other Pinocchio doesn't. I don't get that. Then I noticed also that some, which I think all DVDs should have cases that are locked so they cannot steal them. And they have to have, just like they do with clothes. But, um... Like, let's say you buy Rio 2, and it's in a see-through, hard case that is locked that you can't open. But then you find another Rio 2 that isn't in one of those things at all. Hope you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you would call those. I'm like, well, why is one in a hardback locked case, but the other one isn't? I don't get it. If you know the answers for these, comment down below and let me know. Also, I don't understand. Also, don't understand why they do this to people. Um, it's like I think they should take all their DVDs and put them in that hard case that is locked, and that they have to unlock it at the cash register. Then nobody will steal. Like, come on, you are telling me on Black Friday. You didn't have two to three dollars. I don't know how much Rio was on Black Friday, but you didn't have like two to three bucks to buy it. Like, are you that poor that you had to steal it? That's why I feel for Corey, and I feel like he should try and take it back and see what happens. But don't say it was a Black Friday thing. But, uh, also, I don't know. It's lesson learned, I guess. Just be safe out there when you buy DVDs and check and all that stuff. Um, that's why when I go to buy used DVDs, I always check to make sure it's in there. I just don't see the need of people stealing them. That's why I think it's a kid that did it, 
because usually little kids, 12 to 13, 15 year olds don't have money. But Rio 2, he said, was his fa one of his favorite movies. I'm sorry, I don't see what you see in that movie. I didn't like that movie, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, I'm going to get going. I just wanted to make this little video to help people out. If you want to hear more about his story or see the cover, just go to Live Each Day or go to my playlist where it says his name in the playlist. And just check it out there. Till then, I'm Boney. I'm Boney. Now leave me alone. Okay, bye.